Hey guys, what is up? I hope everybody has been having a great day. I have a different type of video today. I thought I would go back to my televised events from last year and give you guys an analysis of each set, as well as some deeper insight as to what I was focusing on at the time and what I was trying to do with each shot. If you guys want to see me break down more of the televised events like this, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, as it really helps get this content out to more people so that I can inspire and entertain as many people as I can so I would really appreciate that. So that being said, let's hop into it. That I've got to let so the last this ball is the go. quarterfinals of the 2019 Akchen Smash in the Sun, which was the opening event on the World Long Drive schedule. And um, we had probably 20 to 30 mile an hour tailwinds on a, at this tournament. So it was a lot of fun. And, um, you know, you got to see some huge, huge numbers. And um, so Kevin Shook put up a pretty good number here at 423. Stabilize his swing. And I actually me the remember having a hard time seeing the ball. The glare was a little bit tough out there. So one of the things I realized is I was getting a little bit quick. But at the same time, I felt good. I liked how my swing felt. And I knew if I could just turn one, turn one over but not hook it, I was starting it where I wanted to start it. So I just kind of focused on starting up the right center, and kind of just working it right back into the center. Good and I shot. pulled it just a bit, but I was able to hold it off and had a really good flight in this one. And you can see bounce past the line there. And um, so that was a 440-yard drive. And so it's definitely a lot of fun when you can go 440. These are a lot – these are very fun conditions. And so, yeah, this was um, definitely a great way for me to start my season. Um, and uh, – these events started with 54 people, so we had to go through a lot of hitting just to get to the final eight, which is the televised uh, round. So here's a look at my swing in slow-mo, and um, what you'll notice here is it's not quite as deep as my swing is now at the top. So that's a factor of my flexibility gains since then. If you guys were paying attention to the speeds, you will notice that I'm, my ball speeds are much faster now than they were at this time in 2019 and that's for two reasons one i've gotten much better shape the and biggest the improvement is, is stabilizing my swing so Elimin that was the case there and so you can see only 205 ball speed here but this is probably the most insane hop i've ever gotten this ball should not have won that set um in fact that actually went past the ball i hit in the previous set um and it was almost 10 miles an hour slower but that just goes to show the uh, the rub of the green is very real in this sport. And that's why it is so important to fill the grid up. And, you know, because if, if you're hitting, if you hit all eight balls in the grid and um, your opponent only hits one, even if he's faster, I would say you have a much better chance of winning because one of those balls is very likely to get a big hop and kick and run forward. So there's another look at my swing here. And, um, yeah, you know, more of the same thing. You can kind of see my head at the top there. They put a little, on, on the TV, they put a little graphic there to show where it was at the top. And so I'll basically drop down here on the inside and watch the lead leg, how it posts up and then doesn't slide. That's the big thing I want you guys to notice. There's no sliding of the hips. It's rotation. It's not sliding. And I guess what I mean by that is if you really want to have a visual, if you put like an imaginary line right up against my lead hip, I wouldn't hit it. I would rotate against it. You can see my footwork here, a bit of a pivot, and then a push off the ground. And that was definitely something me and my coach Bobby Peterson worked on was we wanted to develop a skeleton from which to build off of. And I would consider this swing my skeleton still um, because me and Bobby Peterson had only been working together for about three months at this point, maybe four. But what we did was we got my swing into the positions we wanted it. And then we knew once I got more flexible, the positions would just get more extreme and it would lead to a much bigger shot. Right so he that's why I've seen so much speed in the last couple I mean, of uh, last year or so. And here, you guys ready for, to see the number I have to go for here? I mean, you can. I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you just see the score once it pops up here for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Tim Burks went 474 on his last ball, which and it was one of the most insane shots I've ever, I've ever seen. It rode the line perfectly. And so at this point, I mean, I was feeling really good going into this set. And honestly, my thoughts at this time were, I'm going to hit it 480. Like, I was I was really like, man, this is going to be so cool if I hit it 480 and win this tournament. Because you guys got to realize the wind at this point was so, just insane. I mean, it was a, like it's 19 miles an hour downwind, which is insane. 
Um, and you can definitely tell I'm putting more on my swing now. And I'm going to need probably 218 plus ball speed up the left side. The right side has been very slow. And Tim went up the left edge, which is the hottest part of the grid. He basically hit a perfect shot. He absolutely. Um, so you can tell I have to go for it. And these are really good numbers for me at the time. Anything over about 217, 218 for me was really moving it. You guys can notice I switched to a different shaft. And this is the shaft that I'm known for using nowadays. That's a regular flux shaft. The shaft I was using in the earlier rounds was a 4X. Now the reason was, plus if I can get inside and under the ball the regular flex, it'll launch higher and it'll release with less spin. And so Bo my coach Bob Peterson, we had always been working on trans transitioning to the regular flex because we liked the feel of it. And it was producing better ball speeds, at least for me. And so I wasn't super, I wasn't super um, proficient with this at all, the board. this shaft yet. But at this point we knew we had to go for it. And I thought this was a pretty good swing here. And, um, yep, landed like a wedge. <laughs> I probably need to care. You can see me switch to it at this point because I'm kind of, at this point, I'm just trying to find something. And so I go back to something I'm familiar with. And I know I have some time, so I'm just kind of steadying myself. And at this point, I'm just trying to hit some good shots. And, um, because 474, you know, that's a number. It's just a crazy number. And so all you can really do is really swing for the fences and just try to catch one and line it up the way you want. And so at this point, I'm like, well, it's time to swing hard as, as hard as I possibly can. So, you know, I was, re I still thought I could get this number. And um, so I was really excited to really let it go at this point and um, see what happens. So just kind of going through my routine again. You know, I have plenty of time and I'm trying to hit a draw that turns over into the left center of the grid at 215 plus. And I screamed it so loud. I killed this ball. I mean, it was such a perfect shot. And you can see it carries where it needs to, and it's chasing, it's chasing, and it's short at 466 yards. <clears throat> so you win some, you lose some, but really good match here with my friend Tim Burke. So if you guys want to see more like this, definitely let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed that video, and um, if you want to see more, definitely leave a note in the comments. So I hope you guys have a great day.